Once you go 6 plus, can you go SE? Well, I tried for 5 days, and this is what happened. Before I tell you what happened when I switched to 4 inch iPhone SE, I'd like to tell you what I do with my 6 Plus, in this case 6S Plus. I take care of 3 Twitter accounts, Global, Turkish and Music. 3 YouTube channels, Global, Turkish and Music. 2 Facebook pages, Global and Turkish. And this requires for me to sometimes edit photos, sometimes write really long messages. Dear iPhone, <laughs> nice, look, a comment. I really like your every rose has its thorn cover. But I happen to realize you said tears instead of tears. Oh, block. Bye bye. And on top of that, I do iPhone photography and I edit videos and I make music. <laughs> I barely did stuff like that when I had a 4 inch iPhone and that's why I always carried my iPad mini with me which I stopped carrying when I switched to 6 plus and 6s plus. So keep in mind that if you're not a power user what I went through may not be what you will go through. On the first day after I switched to 4 inch iPhone SE the first thing I did I looked for the sleep wake button right here. I tried to use both hands for typing, which is not necessary, you can just use one hand. I started typing slower and I made more mistakes than before. After I synchronized my watch to my phone, the battery left on my phone was already 94%. In similar situation with iPhone 6S Plus, it is usually 98%. When I had my phone in my pocket, I felt like I forgot my phone at home. Because it's so tiny and light, you don't feel it in your pocket. But you know what? You feel your wallet. And when you have your 6S Plus in your pocket, yes, you feel the phone in your pocket, but you don't feel the wallet in your pocket. You see what I did there? It was amazing to have one hand to myself when I was carrying groceries. Sorry bro. I really looked for the 3D touch when I wanted to move the cursor around. But iPhone SE doesn't have forced touch. On the first day I felt like I was on a timeout. It was as if I did something bad and my punishment was to use this phone. <laughs> iPhone SE felt very zippy and very fast. But then I remembered, if your phone is acting funny, just back it up to your computer and then restore it using iTunes and then put your backup back, you'll be very happy with the results. On the second day when I woke up, there was an important email. And as I was reading that email, I realized everything was so small. So when I zoomed in, the letters were left out of the screen. So it was difficult to read compared to a 5.5 inch phone. As you can guess, Apple Pay works just fine. Your watch works just fine fine with iPhone SE. While I was editing photos, I realized I cannot see the detail. On 5.5 inch phone, when I'm editing a photo, I almost know what it's gonna look like on my computer or on my iPad. But with this one, I wanted to see the image I'm editing on a computer or a tablet. Placing something, for example, you're editing a photo and you wanna insert a text, placing that text in a precise Position was difficult. When you lift your finger up, it moves. But it's not all bad news. I really liked this phone. As a regular user, this is a fantastic phone. I really enjoyed having this phone with me. Because I can use this with one hand, I realized when I'm outside, when I'm walking somewhere, I'm on my phone all the time. For example, while buying toilet paper or moisturizer. While I'm using a 5.5 inch phone to hold it in your hands and try to type, you get frustrated and you put it in your pocket and you start looking around and you're like, oh look, world, interesting, cars. But with this phone, I was on my phone all the time. Sorry bro. Sorry bro. On the second night, my watch had 68% battery and my phone had 16% battery. 
On the third day, I realized I stopped all the social media work that required photo editing or typing a long message. Going back to this texting screen was not cool. At the end of the third day, when I was going to bed, my watch had 70% battery and this had 37% battery. And on the fourth day, that was it. I woke up, I took my phone, I didn't even realize this was 4 inch, 5.5 inch, I didn't care. This was my phone, I was really happy with it. It is fast, the camera is nice, I took a lot of photos, I used the GPS, everything was fantastic, I was really really happy with this phone. And today is the fifth day. So what do you think? Shall I stay with 4 inch iPhone SE or should I go back to my iPhone 6S Plus? Cast your vote right here. You can cast your vote. I also got this black leather case from Apple, which is a terrible choice when your phone is rose gold and your case is black. So when you put these together, it ends up being like this. Well, thank you very much for watching this episode and I hope you enjoyed it. Please hit that subscribe button. I must have a subscribe button somewhere here on the screen. Hit that subscribe button and join the world domination. And let me know what you think about switching back from 5.5 inch phone to 4 inch phone in the comment section below. And until I see you next time, take really good care of yourselves. And horse color So what do you think? Do you think I'm gonna stick with iPhone SE or do you think I'm gonna switch back to iPhone 6s plus?